Wait a minute, that's not going to work yet. There it is, there it comes. There we go. Good. I live up in Maine, and uh, in Maine there's a section of the highway, Maine sort of shaped like this, and everybody lives down here, and nothing but moose live up there. But there are a few people that live up there, and there's actually parts of the university that are tucked away up in there. Should have been Canada, but that's where it is. And um, you go to the very end of Highway 95, you know, that runs the whole you know, well it ends about here. And then it turns into Route 1 and goes up another uh, about 40 or 50 miles till you get to the University of Maine at Presque Isle. And all along that highway, uh, the University of Maine at Presque Isle had this brilliant idea. They wanted to give their students a perspective on how big the universe was, how big our solar system was. And so they built this big metal arch in the geology building, comes from the from the second floor down to the first floor, just to give you an idea of how big the sun would be. It's painted yellow. And then out along the highway are the rest of the planets in their size, space according to the distance. Well, I was coming from the south, and so really wasn't quite aware of it. I'd stopped at the rest area there just before I started up on Route 1 and, and noticed a little plaque on the wall about that big with a little brown marble in it about that large. It said, Pluto. I suspect they've taken that one down now. But I was driving down the road and noticed in a church parking lot there was a big pole out there with a big blue basketball on the top of it. I thought, oh, you know, what's going on? But then eventually I came over a hill and there was Saturn. It's about eight feet wide with a ring about 12 feet wide and a big gravel parking lot underneath. Uh, I needed to make a phone call. And so that's where the song starts. <laughs> I am calling from Saturn From the top of Farm Hill I'm afraid you won't answer And afraid that you will I blasted off with both rockets Burning fire to break free But I'm light years from freedom Free from your gravity Free from your gravity Four miles and five tenths under Jupiter's pole. I will pull in my driveway and lose all control. I took you for granted. That was sorry of me. my freedom free from your gravity free from your gravity you were the center right orbit around holding me close without dragging me so far out in space, breaking the pull of your magnetic grace.
planet that I could ever call mine if I'm still on your radar won't you send me a sign unless you return contact I will wait weightlessly from your gravity free from your gravity here in the dark the one light I see is my revolution from your gravity Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to do a lullaby for you here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> but it's, uh, I refer to it as an anti-lullaby. It'll wake you up, I promise. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of this place. It's called um, Coney Island. <laughs> oh, you've heard of it. Cool. <laughs> Most places I play, they may have heard of it. How many of you have been to Coney Island? Oh, really? Raise your hand. Good deal. Good deal. When I was a kid growing up, I'd never been to Coney Island. I grew up in Georgia, but I'd always see it on TV and see articles about it and that kind of thing. I was fascinated by the place. I was determined I was going to get there one day, and I did manage to eventually. But at the time, I had never been there, and um, uh, many, many years ago, about 12, 15 years ago, I started working on this song. I knew I wanted to celebrate Coney Island in some way, and, and then I found this great Smithsonian Institute article about Coney Island in the 1950s. So I'm going to take